Everybody, welcome to Real Life Sci-Fi here on uh, Shrub Home Video. We're coming to you live from the uh, Midnight Kids stage. I'm Wade Randolph. I'm Willie. And uh, and I'm Aaron Pierce. You okay? It's like weekend at Bernie's over there. Yeah. <laughs> are Are you okay? <laughs> well, Bud wanted to introduce himself, but he doesn't know that that's my job. I was gonna say. I'm Wade Randolph, and oh, then I got fuck. you cut me off, though. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I felt that strange that you did that. Well, welcome aboard the SSRLSF. It's our good friend, Bud Diaz. What's up? What's, What's up, up, dude? Looking at the camera. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> they really uh, feel it. Yeah. I'm not trying to be a cool dude. I just have a what? headache, and so I'm wearing sunglasses, and they're errands. It just looks and, funny. Uh, it reminded me of, um, um, what's what, what's the... Does he do it in risky business? I don't know. Or Tom Cruise, like with his glasses. Hey, have you seen that? Have you heard about this? <laughs> risky business. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I wrote a just like Tom. I wrote a college paper on risky business. Interesting. Um, how's it going, everybody? Good. I oh just wait, got here. I'm sorry. Shut up. Uh, real life sci-fi. Or I'm sorry. patreoncom slash real life sci-fi. <laughs> we have two bonus episodes a weekend. Uh, if you're a friend of Charles Clown, there's like lots of, lots of fun stuff. Well, Aaron knows hopefully. more about. I mean, we're, I'm trying to make more fun stuff. We've been friends for too long. We're gonna get we'll on. Get uh, we're gonna watch some stuff online. Yeah, this, this week we're saying this week. Yeah, maybe like Wednesday or Thursday. I don't know. It's up to our schedules at this point. Like, uh, yeah, we gotta. We we're gotta gonna watch like our... spooky YouTube videos and like alien YouTube videos. We'll just like you know riff on it, like chat about it, like goblin stuff. Yeah, like maybe sure. we'll find some goblin oh my stuff. God. Don't even, I'm, count me out. Do you know about a bunch <laughs> of goblin videos? You know, like goblins? Videos? Who does? I mean, but do you have like a goblin experience? No, it. They just. They just creep you out. <laughs> they're, 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 ugh, they're like they're so small. Describe <laughs> a they, goblin to me. Describe well, what they, you think a goblin is. A goblin is like a, a nine foot nine inch man or woman that um. They're waiting for you to turn around so they can scurry by, and they don't really fuck with you or anything. They just love to scurry in the in the depths of the corners of of my uh, house. That's smaller than I thought. Yeah, they're actually pretty small. Of your house? Yeah, they're like brownies from I own Willow. No, I don't. I rent what? Oh. They're like the brownies from Willow. Yeah, yeah. Or no. they like the demons from the gate. I just don't know what they do or what they want from me, but they're everywhere. Do they speak to you in your dreams? No, they don't say a damn word. They're I don't speak scurry. their language. It's a forgotten language. Have you tried traps? It's like Latin. You know what I mean? Mm. What? Have you tried traps? Mm, no. The, like, sticky paper? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Imagine the, the ruckus. You wake up at 3 a.m. You just hear a goblin stuck on a sticky fly trap paper. I don't, I don't want to live that world. You could draw, like, a sexy goblin. And then put it on the sticky paper. <laughs> I could do that. Then I'll get his dick stuck in it. Like the only w- <laughs> good, the only way to really get over that fear is to become one. <laughs> did you like the? Do you guys? Did you guys watch Cat's Eye? I keep. I'm bringing up old no. movies now. Mm-mm. Come on, Cat's Eye. I never even heard of it. Has some cool demon that sounds would like made up to me. Breathe your breath when you were sleeping. Ooh, it's pretty cool. I don't know about that. Ugh. It's a hot. Flick. I it only want the stinkiest <laughs> breath. Well, he would like. That's how they got your soul, I think. Oh, I see. Oh. Is that why it's called cat's eye? Because people say that about cats. Yeah, and the cat would def- defend. Was like the enemy of this goblin, and the cats would always scare the goblins off, and they wake up not being able to breathe, and the cats on them. Oh, so they're getting a bad rap. Yeah. Huh. Uh, my cat likes to sleep. I guess I'm fat enough where my cat can like sleep on my side mm. when i'm on my side and it's very cute Aww. i love it i'm glad you like it and then sometimes she'll just like paw at my face when she wants me to wake up yeah that's I love pretty it. cute it's the cutest it's pretty cute but yes. you've been here before multiple times twice now how uh 
Well, the three. This is three, isn't it? This is three. Okay. Twice before. And how into uh, 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 this genre are you of, of sci-fi paranormal stuff? Uh, well, I had... I wasn't ever... I was hyper-skeptic for a while, but I had I had an experience, and which caused me to kind of dive back in and, like, kind of reevaluate my stance on everything. Um, uh, I'm sure we talked about this, but what was the experience? Can you do a that, cliff I, notes? Did I tell you about... I, I, you must have, right? Tell me. Was it the mirror? Was it, the, it was about the squeeze? Did you hear about the squeeze? Oh, yes, and the, the plates off the wall? Yes, oh, the yeah, plates yeah, yeah, and yeah. the squeeze. Okay. Yeah. So ever since that, I'm like, and and you know, a lot of the newer things happening in the news. Um, I'll do do it real quick though, because we kind of teased everyone. Yeah, yeah, sure. Sorry. So, uh, yeah, I want to know. It must have been like 2017, I think. I was staying at my uh, girlfriend's place. She lived up in this loft in the middle of the night. I heard a terrible crash. I mm-hmm. went downstairs. Uh, she had these like decorative uh, plates that were velcroed on the wall, and a bunch of them have been like knocked or fallen down, and. Uh, thought well that was weird so i went to to see if her roommate was home uh her room was empty it was it was just us uh but that doesn't mean they couldn't have just fallen you know it's like the adhesive it gets cold whatever but near this one uh area of the house i felt um what i could only describe as like um an aggressive hug it felt more Uh. like someone grabbing the sides of your shoulders and like squeezing really hard but it felt like the same way like when your leg falls asleep and so my idiot brain, the first thing I thought was like, ah, there must be a downed power line that fell in a puddle and I'm standing in the puddle. <laughs> Swear to God, that's what I thought. And uh, no, that's not what it was because we're inside <laughs> an apartment. <laughs> and then even so I just didn't know what to do. And it held me for what felt to be like 10 seconds, Golly maybe gee. until I just kind of just like. Just yelled and broke free of it <laughs> and ran upstairs and got under the, the covers and just figured we'd talk about it in the morning. And uh, in the morning, I, I was telling my girlfriend about it and she goes, oh, it was probably Dennis. And Dennis is this the entity menace? that has existed in Dennis their the apartment. Menace. The Menace, yeah. yeah. You know, oh, you know him? Yeah, oh, yeah, you know, yeah. Oh, okay. I've heard of him. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and Dennis is this entity that has like kind of fucked with them over the years where there'd be a like they they had this solid oak dresser that would from time to time just like give a scooch out of nowhere just <laughs> and that's, then, that's... and you yeah and you could ba- I could barely lift like one side of it so um and then specifically too when we when when I investigated the plates cuz I'm thinking okay if like it's like on the five side of a die one in the middle four in the corners and it, I was trying to like evaluate how all of the sequence would have fallen at the same time could was there enough clearance for them to fall straight down. But as I look closer, there's like very clearly like a swipe mark on the wall, like of someone's like dusty fingerprints where it looks like someone swiped down on the plates. No. I have, I sent you the photo, right? Yeah. At you sent point, it to me for sure. Did you see the swipe? If yeah. You like zoom in. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's very distinct. Um, so at that point I'm like, okay, I can't fully be like, a non non believers hyper skeptic of everything, like because I I can't explain this unless like Mister Bean tiptoed in here and did this. Like I don't know. What a hilarious reason! I know. Ooh. That I would love that. I miss him. Oh. And, he, and he's not oh. posting it anywhere. He's just no, like no, this recording just for it him. for himself. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the it's like it's like you always hear the those stupid <laughs> stories of like Bill Murray, like Bill Murray walked up to a table and ate a popcorn shrimp off someone's plate and looked at him right in the eye and said, No one will ever believe you. Yeah. It's actually Mr. Bean is the one you gotta <laughs> yeah. worry about. And Mr. Bean's the one who's been fucking with people for decades. Anywho, that's the story. <laughs> well you've done your well scale a few times. Do you remember what the score was? Uh we should redo it regardless, but Yeah, let's do, do it again. Lightning. All right, we'll do a lightning wow scale. Wow scale. (laughs) Are you wet or are you willing? It's fun. Wow scale stands for wait or willy. It's a five question quiz. If you're more of a zero, you're more of a wait. If you're more of a five, you're more of a willy. If you're in between, you're more of an Aaron. That's how we've shoehorned her. Oh, shoehorned me in. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready to be weighed on the wow scale? Let's do it. 
Okay. First question, three-parter. Do you believe in aliens? If so, have they visited Earth? If so, have they visited Earth in the last 300 years? I do believe in aliens. Uh, I, be- I do not believe they've visited Earth. So, third question. Oh, that's so. damning for this for this topic. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> ghosts? No. I believe in... Uh, you just did a ghost no, story. No, let me finish. Again, we did this last time. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in... Uh, like energy is real scientifically it's proven energy exists unless you're shipped out to space your energy becomes part of the earth again when you die i feel like that energy can often like not settle properly or find its place often and i think that is what people commonly know as ghosts i i don't really believe in full free floating you know specters uh-huh. the i owe era. you one yeah no i don't i don't think that and i i don't even really buy into the whole idea of like the unfinished business yeah. idea i, th- I well, think that's it's just that's a hollywood trope right I yeah mean, yeah there's no way if there's ghosts they all have unfinished business that's just good storytelling right that's what it is yeah. that's like, the oh, best storytelling i've really seen maybe like a third of them I've seen the afterlife, and the, but this one thing from yesterday. Yeah, yeah. I never paid my taxes. <laughs> what about this guy, Bigfoot? What do you think of him? Uh, yeah, Bigfoot is definitely real. Uh, there's probably just a bunch of them. There's there's a lot of uh, the planet that, like, we've been there, but we don't really like occupy regularly. Mm-hmm. So it's very easy to for these little sneaky fuckers to be running around, I, despite the fact they're huge. I mean. The carbon footprint on the thing. I mean, My Batman's God. pretty big too. Zero, right? The and yeah. no one ever sees him coming. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, what am I forgetting? Psychics. Oh yeah, psychics. Uh, no bullshit. Are you superstitious? Yes. <sighs> oh God, I'm sorry. I mean, <laughs> no, no. You say that your <laughs> mind is open, but you're a, you're a straight up Wade. Really? Yeah, you're like a zero. I'm not like a Warren. No. no. Okay. Sorry. I almost feel like the the wow scale is a little flawed. Oh yeah. Know. Oh, it is. <laughs> Just because it's like I, yeah, it's flawed. What are we scientists? Since, since I've been on this podcast, no one has been over a two. Hmm. Well, that's because the guests who are fives are awful guests. Well, what do you mean? <laughs> In order to be an Aaron, though, does do my answers all have to be? I don't know. Maybe. No. Like is that uh, no. no it's hey, could it, be. It's, I don't know. I think it's because the superstition question is actually a trick question. Can I can I clarify again? Once again, sorry. A lot of context around my answers. Superstition is it not just a like? Be, is that not a way to describe just like a behavior? You know, like oh, I'm superstitious, meaning like uh, before I take a flight, you know, I always uh, kiss my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's close. But, you know, but, but, this but is I think my that's just like being a loving like, husband. I'm just it? saying, like, th- is that kind? Of, that's kind of like, oh, it's superstition. Like, I you'll mean, be what, fine. Are but you, you think like, you're kissing her because it could be the last time you ever kiss? Sorry, her. Sorry, more context. You're kissing her because that ensures that your flight will be okay. <laughs> yeah, you you kiss her. You kiss her yeah. the here, 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 and then here. Two times on the chin. Ooh, like that kind of weird how come thing. nobody does the, the, the cross kiss on people? Oh, mwah, yeah. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> well, because uh, one of the cross things is testicles. <laughs> True. Yeah, you don't want to kiss those testicles. I was, I was raised Catholic, and um, we do that. Kiss a lot of testicles. <laughs> we do that, yeah. <laughs> um, Only when danger is present. All right, yeah. all right. Only when we're about to take a flight. <laughs> yeah. Are you still religious? No, no. Oh. I did get confirmed. I was like... Went through the Catholic confirmation program in 2015, but that was because my my younger sister's still Catholic, and she wanted me to be my niece's godfather. And I was like, "Don't make me do this. I don't. I haven't been back. I don't want to go back." And it was a harsh course. You had to go. It was like nine weeks. You couldn't miss one. If you miss one, you fucked up. Uh, I missed one for sure, and I begged the priest like. Please let me go. I, I, I already don't want to be here. I didn't tell him that. But uh, I somehow convinced him that I could. Uh, I knew Spanish. So I was like, can I go to the Spanish class? And um, I did. And I just tried my best to keep a very low profile. 
so that no one like called on me or anything. <laughs> and they and like the person next to me <laughs> oh, got man. called on for a question, <laughs> and I'm just like. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like just smile nod smile oh nod because I had no idea what anyone was saying Ugh. but oh it was gosh. a it sounds like a nightmare you yeah. should have tried the wallet trick it was a wallet where trick where it's like is there a way that I can get out of this class and open up your wallet but your wiener's in the wallet oh okay I'm <laughs> <laughs> Well, you would have to is open the wallet, trick? and his wiener would be in there. The trigger is salt. Yeah, it's more of a, <laughs> not so much a trick, but but it was great because they showed um the scene from one of the Indiana Jones movies. Sorry, I have only seen a few of them, but um where the guy like opens a box and he melts. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. All right. Sorry if that's like blasphemous. I I I just have never seen it, but <clears throat> the cool guy scene. The guy Wax. was like. The guy, the priest was saying, like, he was showing this clip to us and saying, like, this is fact. Like, what you like, this would have happened. This is history. I was like, oh, okay. Well, let me introduce you to George Lucas. Like, I don't, <laughs> this is not like a documentary. Well, and, we actually covered that. That's the Ark of the Covenant, right? Mm-hmm. Probably. Yeah. That sounds about yes. right. And uh, we covered that. And there are, like, legends that it was, like, a weapon. Oh, that it actually has like, like a it's like a nuclear weapon. Battery. Yeah, yeah. When wow. they tried to recreate, there's some college that tried to recreate it, and they had to stop because it was so unstable that they thought people would actually Jesus. die from it. Yeah, like in the Bible, it's like people that would touch it would all their hair would fall off and like their skin would start. To oh melt. yeah, that totally makes sense. Yeah, you figured it out. Yeah, it was nuclear. Ta-da! Wow, it was radioactive. <laughs> they found like a. It was probably like- no. It's it's God's love. Sure, his radioactive love. <laughs> I will yeah. say on all of these um, um, conspiracy sites and groups that I'm in, yeah, people are constantly posting clips from movies. Look oh, at this really? giant! They found this giant. I'm like, this is from fucking no. Big Man Japan. Like what? Big Man yeah. Japan. Big Man Japan. Yeah, but like it's good. One thing in the class too that they, um, which really kind of got uh, through me was, uh, he went on this rant about like. Talking about how small we are in comparison to <clears throat> the universe. Uh huh. And, you know, he was like, there's this many uh, people on the planet. There's this many planets in our solar system, this many solar systems in our galaxy, and yada, yada, and like went on. And then at the end of it, he's just like, so after all that, if you don't believe that there's a God, you're crazy. And I'm like, hold the fucking phone because you you just made like the same argument that atheists would make yeah, yeah. but you just changed the ending right yeah, yeah. and uh <clears throat> yeah my, my like knees were tapping the whole time i was in class i was like okay you're doing it for for your niece do it for your niece and i did it so now if you're, you're oh i'm going to heaven now Oh, you are. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool, yes. dude. It's a good backup. Uh, Congrats. Yeah, way, the, ba- the back door entrance. I'm mm-hmm. a godfather too, and I had to go to the kids' baptism, but I'm not. Oh. I'm not going to heaven, so. I'm hey, in someone's fine. trust. I'm in like a trust, so that's oh, like that's being cool. like a legal godmother. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and then I found out later that only like so godparents. There's two of them. Only one of them has to be. Um, like confirmed Catholic, and the other person that my sister chose was confirmed Catholic. Uh, so I was like, okay, well, you, you you tricked me. Yeah, that's you sucks. and mom got together. Oh god. my gosh! Like, how do we get? But Bud's he's gone astray. How do we it's rope like, him back? We in? don't want him to be the godparent. We want him to go to heaven. Exactly. Us. That's what this was really about. <laughs> and uh, I respect. The hustle, I do. Yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's good. I think the best way into heaven is cheating your way in. <laughs> yeah, like, I want to they start they writing like notes a college for admission people. scandal. Like, uh, dear, <laughs> dear I'm trying to Jesus. diversify heaven. <laughs> My friend does not belong here, but yeah. you know he was he missed a couple things and he would have been there. Yeah, dude. Yeah, the dear yeah, Jesus the letters <laughs> by Willie. Uh, hey Willie, Oy. hit us with that topic. Tonight on Real Life Sci-Fi, Congress is finally paying attention to UFOs. It's too bad all of the info is coming from an untrustworthy source, the Department of Defense and the Pentagon. Will we get any kind of disclosure of UFOs with these, with this newly found information, all this UAP stuff? Find out tonight on Real Life Sci-Fi. All right. I could use a real life bottle opener right now. How Thank about you? a fake 
Uh, no, lighter. That's not what this is about. Nope. Whoa, cool. Um, so, but you already don't believe in aliens. What do you think these UAPs are? Good question. Um, do you know what a UAP is? Unidentified aerial phenomenon. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I thought the it oop. was. I thought it was. As opposed to UFO. Go ahead. What's your joke? Oh, I thought Hit it. it. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was urine ass pussy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Of course they would have a. I couldn't think of a you. Congressional U. meeting. I couldn't think of that. a you. What's like a better. What's you a better you? Huh? You just didn't clean up. Wait, Uranus. Just, that doesn't make sense. Urine ass. <laughs> You're an ass pussy. So like the <laughs> untied <laughs> angular penis. I'm just like, tr- I'm tracking the well the it's path from, of from the wet ass here. pussy, right? <clears throat> oh, I guess goes from. Oh yeah, remember yeah. wet ass pussy yeah. from oh, earlier yeah. this year? Yeah. It's weird. Oh, weird ass pussy would be good. That's pretty good. Too. <laughs> weird ass. Pussy. Ooh, weird. Oh, but I'm Ooh, trying weird. to do a U, not a W. You, you go. Ooh, weird. Ooh, weird. Ooh, yeah. weird. <laughs> 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 that is a weird ass pussy. <laughs> um. So yeah, you know. Yeah, like um, I mean, I'm not. Uh, this isn't a hard line stance. It's a, it's hard line. No, for just now, what do you think you know they are? I mean? This isn't. We're not going to hold you to any of this. Just like off the top of your head, what would you think that they could be? Like military tests or something? I feel like it's probably just like a cool racing drone or like. Mm-hmm. Oh, is that? <laughs> well, they go like as fast as fighter pilots. They go faster than some. Yeah. Um, have you ever seen BattleBots? BattleBots. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The old okay, so Comedy you know. Central show. Yeah. 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 Very, very funny in Comedy Central. <laughs> yeah. Oh, very hilarious. Funny. They should make BattleBots with humanoid robots, right? Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Terrifying. Like the, like the, the Honda <laughs> <laughs> Honda robot. Awesome. Yeah. Bunch I of thought Osimos. that's what they uh, were gonna do, and uh, then when it was just like uh, a thing with uh, a sledgehammer yeah. on it, I, was like, I know. Yeah. I'm like, you made uh, a piece of carpet that has a saw on it. Smart. My favorite is the ones that are just like a simple lever with a nail on the end yeah. of yeah. it. I'm like, dude, that's kind of cool. Well, <laughs> like there is a um, there's a a version of a BattleBot that works best, and everyone knows it, but they. I feel like they gotta give them a, some money. Be like, can you not make the one that just flips the robot over? Right. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. They're all flipping each other over, and then the game's over, and we don't yeah. have a sh- fucking show. They did bring you that win. back a little bit, didn't they? Like recently, they did. Follow, excuse me, follow um the BattleBots TikTok. It's exhilarating. <laughs> I, it's, I believe that's you. my for you page is all BattleBots. <laughs> um, so funny, but I don't know. I mean, I feel like if. We they can like make if that. we can make battle bots exactly. Why couldn't we make things that go faster than fighter jets? Is that Bingo. what you think this is? What do you think this is? Uh, I think it's aliens. You do think it's aliens? I think so. I hope it is. Like, I hope it is. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's hard for me to say that I think it's aliens because I'm like that. Like, moves the needle on me permanently. Sure. You know? What do you think, Aaron? Um. I mean, I watched the whole congressional thing, and uh, I was very dry. It's kind of embarrassing. It was it was extremely embarrassing. The amount of information they didn't have, like yeah. people yeah. had real questions. They're like, "So have we tried um, contacting these? Have we tried communicating with these at all? No, no, no. We haven't no. tried. No, but we're pretty sure it's a threat. Is this a because recent it, uh, press conference? This is twelve days ago. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. So basically, because of the whole Tic Tac, uh, th- them showing those videos and like r- the Pentagon saying that they've been spending money researching UFOs. Have you seen the Tic Tac? Oh, I've seen them all. Okay. Yeah. So now they're 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 making it so that if you have some information that would have been classified or whatever, like you, if you come forward to talk about your UFO experiences, you're not going to get in trouble or yeah, covering right. up covering up UAPs. Tell that to Julian Assange. But it's all. But the whole thing is the whole. Yeah, right. The whole thing is like they're just what, like that's what he did, or Snowden. They they just uh, are just did, trying yeah. to get military funding because they're saying this is a threat to, this is a potential threat to our national security. And it is. Yeah. It is like but, you, but unregulated things in the airspace. You're not gonna. You're not going to win anybody over because you don't have proof that they've done anything. And you're not showing us the real shit. 
Yeah. They have they have real if you just here's my here's my case of this. If you just look at the Tic Tac videos, if you believe what these credible witnesses are saying, mm -hmm. they also describe seeing and recording these things do things that do not match our physics. Right. Going from zero to a million, stopping on a dime, the boiling of the water of some what look like boiling of the water. Like they have all this on record too, but they're not showing you the things that would shock your yeah. shit. They're just like, look at this yeah. thing going fast. I don't know. I've boiled water, though. <laughs> Have you ever boiled the ocean? Like this? No, no. <laughs> I can't boil the ocean. <laughs> only God can boil the ocean. And so that's that's. And the only thing. if you open up his love chamber. Bingo. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, there were. There was even like, what is? Were they all senators at this meeting? Yeah. So Ugh. Senator Gallagher was like, um. So there's this, there's this like situation where he named a specific place right where it was, but he's like, um, six, like twelve warheads went offline at the same time, and right after that, a big red orb was seen over the launch pads. Have you guys investigated this at all? This is like a super well known thing, and they're like. It's not been brought to our attention, so we have not. Right. No. This is why they've called them UAPs, and they're dropping. They're dropping anything that's ever happened before. And that was, I think, his name. I believe his name is Rick Salas, whatever. But he, the the guy that ran the base where all the nukes got turned off, mm -hmm. UFO shows up, and then they get turned back on. Like that would be a case for it to be a threat to national sure. security. But they also turned it back on, which shows really. Unimaginative, unimaginable intelligence to be able to turn our nukes off yeah. and then turn them on. <laughs> I feel like the big, the big uh, moral of this whole unimaginable thing Sorry. is like, if they were to come out and say, "Hey, all right, we know about these aliens. They exist. We shot one. We shot one down in '86 or whatever." Like, I still have to go to work on Monday. Yeah. Nothing changes for anybody. But also, like we, most people in the story don't have any stories. You know? Sure, yeah. It's like, like oh, this, okay, cool. Let us let us know more about that whenever you're free. I don't know. Like, I I'm busy. I, yeah, I like, mean, but that's the whole. That's the whole. Uh, it's so interesting because, like, you're probably right. But then the reason that they've kept these things classified for so long is they say because people would freak out or whatever. Yeah. So dumb. No, yeah, like won't. what? Like how would you even freak out? In what way? Like this? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. More. Than Clip it. I, I sorry, quit. Don't. I yeah, quit. Sorry. Oh yeah, we have the number up. Call in uh, with your opinion about how the government is handling the public disclosure. I guess of but UAPs. Wait, I want to hear more about this this conference or whatever. The senators were asking questions. Senators were asking questions of the committee. What's the committee? The committee is what is it called? It's called like A Tip or something. Yeah, yeah. Advanced <laughs> All Tigers A Tip. Yeah, are <laughs> pussies. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's like or, it, it's a part of the navy. The navy. The naval force. It, like this is the first time since Project Blue Book that they've gotten like an office yeah. that there's like a committee at all looking into these things. And Project Blue Book, I think, ended in what like the seventies. Yeah. So. And then the guy who ran that program who said that there was nothing to it later then started his own research project into UFOs. Yeah, and one of the questions <laughs> that one of the senators asked in the beginning of the whole thing was like, What's like, up? Is, was there anything be before <laughs> that project? That would be my first question. What's, <laughs> What's up? up? What's was, up? <laughs> was there anything before Project Blue Book? Was there anything after Project Blue Book between that and this committee? Was there anything in between? They're like, nope. Hmm. No, I don't even care if like if the, there were a question asked of like, and if so, why didn't you tell us? Like, shut up. We know why. Like, yeah. we know why the yeah. government has to keep certain things secret. Else, they're not. They're not the government. Like, yeah, I don't care about that. It's just like, what is it? What do we know about it? Tell me. We'll all be fine. Uh, have you have you shot any of them down? Do you have any uh, maybe possible possible higher resolution photos of them? Because they all look like shit. See, I do kind of think, like, just to go back to my answer, I think I think they're probably unmanned. That's sure. something that they said, too, is they're like, we Drones. can't. 
contact them because yeah, like they racer drones, seem like racer there's drones. No or like from Star Wars flying them. or Battlestar or Galactica Bots, where I mean. the ship is alive. Oh yeah, yeah. like a Cylon or, or Moira. Wink. I can um, see that. I, I, I think it's a mixture of everything. I think that there's different races of aliens. I think that there's different secret militaries within our own country. That You can't believe uh, it all, man. Why not? I, I think it's all. Because I, it's I, all made up. <laughs> I've seen like I've seen like six different oh types of UFOs. You really think that there's a race of aliens that look like gladiators? <laughs> what? That's one of them. And if it's not, I'll put it online and you'll start <laughs> believing it. I mean... Oh, someone dropped the link for the whole hearing. Appreciate that. Whoever did Thanks, that. Thanks, Sebi. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I, it, well, I mean, here's the thing. If you really want... Because, like, I mean, even even they've had 400 reports in the last year. But I would guess that most pilots still aren't going to report any UFOs that they see. Well, only 10% of the people that actually see things report it. Yeah. But that's just regular people when it comes to like pilots that like that takes away your credibility i guess they... i guess that's the whole the whole point of this conference right like was probably springboarded from uh things just being leaked and just kind of being backed up in, into a corner where they said like all right we got to say something because there's like evidence now you know tom DeLong came after us and he put the videos out so like let's just address it but so the objective guys, was we all like, know work sucks, but yeah. it's time <laughs> the, to get to work. <laughs> the objective was to just acknowledge it or I guess re-acknowledge it because they did like in 2016, I think. But re-acknowledge that it exists, that they don't know what they are whenever there's, you know, evidence of it. And to also push people to report it more specifically like military. Yeah. Right. I think military is the answer, Willie. I mean, because like if you're a military pilot then yeah you can say you can be like to your commanding officer like oh yeah so i saw one of those things and he's not gonna he's not gonna ground you i don't think but like maybe a commercial airline would yeah well uh like in in i'm I, this isn't really answering your question or anything but like in 2001 uh, dr stephen greer came to congress and had i think close to 200 mi witnesses that were all credible mil different military people that like wanted to tell congress that the UFO phenomenon was real and they had the hearing and then no connection to this nine 11 happened. And then they just, it just never came back up. But like they tried to do this in 2001 with credible no military. Yeah. No connection. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I heard they brought that, that uh, to the government. I heard that yeah. those planes were flown by aliens. Oh yeah. I heard that too. Um, and one of their IDs was found on top of the wreckage, but they hid that oh, yeah. one. Crazy. I, I love that they're just like, we're going to, we're going to have a meeting. We're going to show you all the evidence. Fish may or may not also play the event. I don't know. But you're like, come on, man. We will have a black light. Yeah. Uh, oh, we have a caller. What? Let's take that caller. I think it's our good friend, Squanch. Oh, Squanch. Let's. Hello? Hello? Squanchy, what's up? Uh, uh, hello. Hey, um, uh, I just got a quick question. It's not um, it is so it honestly, is. Do, you, do you believe that uh, that if the government were to tell everyone, yes, they are aliens, do you really think the same people who who voted for Trump and d destroyed civilization would, would they wouldn't go into like complete chaos and just complete chaos? I they would somehow swing it into a wow. a debate as to why they it would need be, to be more armed. It would, I don't know. Yeah, no, it would yeah. be that. It would be a. Would they, they would turn it into a Second Amendment thing, and then they would also make sure that religion tied in in some way. Yeah, we, we would also. There would also be shootings at helicopters. Well, I thought it was uh, one of them. Yeah. <laughs> Shooting at chemtrails. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's a. It's it's weird because like. I always laugh going like this, you know, like people aren't going to like change their lives. Unite. But uh, it, I mean, gosh, I can't predict what people would do. <laughs> I mean, even if they did, I don't know, they would calm down eventually, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, like through, through this whole thing when they're like, hey, this is a threat to national security. I'm like, well, if you think that this is real, then we should be trying to communicate first with it instead of being like, how do we shoot these things down? See what we're see what we're looking at. 
Well, yeah. is that what they're doing? They're just looking to weaponize, like, they're not trying to figure out how to speak to them or anything? They're just looking for a defense defense spending. But that's your very cynical point of view. Yeah, I don't think point that's of view. it. I think that they're genuinely, like, concerned about it. But I, they're I, only talking about how it's a threat to national security instead of, like, what is this? They're not asking, even. But because because they're the government and they're supposed to look at it like it's a threat to, to homeland security, like that's the government's job. It's not to like explore the the outer unknown. We're not like in Star Trek land yet. This yeah. is our government saying, "Is this first? Is this uh, an enemy spying on us? If it's not, is this one of our own special ops? But if, if they it's really not, thought that, because I because I was reading. The, I only read a little, got to read a little bit this week. It's called UFOs by Leslie Keen. Uh, it's like uh, accounts from ex super high up military people. Like the guy, I think it was like um, he was in charge of the Air Force in Germany during like uh, this huge UFO flap. Rendlesham, it was there. No, it wasn't oh. Rendlesham. It was something else. But uh, Tom DeLong. Yeah, it was Tom DeLong. Knew it. Rumpel yeah. still Schmidt. <laughs> but like, uh, like the evidence that they gathered just from that was like so much more compelling from his account than anything that our government said in this. The only thing that our government said was like, we don't know what it is. These are the steps to report these things, and um, it we we don't think it's aliens. But if the, uh, my thing is, if they really were trying to just get. Um, this is me arguing with myself. If they re were really just trying to get military spending, they would bring up the old accounts of like shutting the nukes off. So yeah. it's weird because it's so limited even what they're even showing. Well, just because it. they say it's a threat to national security doesn't mean they're only looking to get funded to develop weapons. Like, you know, they probably want to learn the language. Yeah. First, it's like a rival. Yeah. yeah, maybe that's just the 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 way to get money to do research in it is to get people to. Oh, thank you, Squanchy. Care that it might, thank, yeah. <laughs> thank you for your call. Thank you. You know, you know, in a in movies, in a lot of like Come alien on. movies, there's always like one really good scientist or like have really good intentions, and then uh, the big like twist is like, oh no, they're gonna take what i found and turn it into a weapon yeah like i just feel like we're <laughs> we're getting close to that becoming a reality at least once for that happening yeah you know like if we oh okay we we shot down the battle bot that you know was f at going at flight speed and it contains some sort of new metal new metal <laughs> yeah man. that uh <laughs> it's like rap yeah. and metal <laughs> <laughs> that white pony drone that and, crashed and you, right it's yeah, new metal new, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't don't get it twisted. Um, don't get yeah, it twisted. Yeah, sounds twisted like a new metal? metal song. Yeah, twisted metal. What are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing here? <laughs> now I, I what are other metal words? <laughs> <laughs> I um, think what I was saying was supposed to end with a joke. I don't know, but oh, just shit. just laugh. Fucking laugh, please. <laughs> we're laughing. We're laughing. We're laughing. Um, I mean, I've I've talked on this show before about uh the progression of the progression and evolution of like alien abductions throughout the decades which it's you know it started out as exploratory they're just abducting people then they start taking material from like sperm from men and impregnating women and then they take the they start taking babies out of people and returning them to earth and then uh what was that book I heard the way that they did that is they drew a real sexy woman on a on a sticky piece of paper. Oh yeah, I heard that too. Well, got they were em. like, it's a yeah, trap. Got em. <laughs> but like, I don't know. I I think that at this point, um, it was that David Jacobs book. I always talk about that David Jacobs book, Walking Among Us. There's like an alien human hybrid program. People are getting abducted to teach these alien human hybrids how to be human. I'm just thinking maybe this is just the next step in the progression of. Of like that uh, abduction evolution that now it's, you know they have they have like kind of Manchurian candidate type people in place and. But I'm not up on uh, alien abductions. Do people still get alien abducted? Yeah. I thought that was like an '80s thing. No, yeah. now they're getting abducted and they have to teach people these like uh, classes on how to be human. Essentially, that's what that that David Jacobs hmm. book is about. Okay. 
<laughs> but yeah, but yeah, there are still <laughs> abduction stories. They just you just they'll never make the news again because they're just um, people who get abducted on the on a re- like on a regular basis. It runs in their bloodline, and and then there's yeah like the teaching stories. But um, yeah, I think the teaching stories are real. Ugh. It's pretty compelling. I mean. <laughs> I mean, if you're making hybrids, you gotta. I mean, like you're not. They're not. How do you know? None Wade? of this is real. That sounds like hybrid talk to me. <laughs> you're a plant. Okay. Life on a on another planet counts as an alien. Yes or no? Yeah. Yes. By definition. Yeah. Okay. But not like I well, semi humanoid. Like you must have limbs. Must have. No, no. Pee-pee. It could be bacteria like, or nothing. whatever. It could be okay. slime mold. Slime mold. Mushrooms. Okay. Octopi. Think, I don't know. It's, mole people. For me is, <laughs> how does a, how does a pile of goo make like a cool thing that can fly as fast as a jet and like, I don't know. Maybe it is the goo. Fuck, dude. You ever seen Maybe. Flubber? Well. You ever seen Flubber? I have, yeah. Was Flubber sentient though? I think it was. It I like mean, it got up and danced dance. and stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it danced. Yeah, yeah, you remember that? Oh, I've never seen it. <laughs> oh Do you have to be sentient to dance? I think so. Well, you can make corn. I say yes yeah. because, because I've never seen. Have you seen other animals like dance? No, no, but no. But animals are sentient. Yeah, that. Wait, are they? Yeah. Oh, right. Certain ones. Certain but just ones. Sentient is what? Just sense of self, right? Like. Yeah. Yeah. France like knowing that made... you exist. Knowing that France your just made lobster and, and fish why. sentient. Right. <laughs> France, <laughs> France made lobster and fish sentient? Yeah, they declared them sentient. Oh, yeah, so yeah. So now you have to kill them before you cook them, before you just throw the lobster in yeah. a pot and watch it move around till it died. But now they're like, oh, they're sentient, so you have to kill them that, now. That's a, I, I like that step. I like that Oh, this giant bug yeah. is sentient. They put a little talk box on it so you could hear what it was saying. They put it in the boiling water, and it said, "What the hell?" <laughs> go, All right, we gotta kill this thing. Help me, do it. mommy. It was like, why? No. <laughs> well, okay, but that's what they told you. It said it really sure. was very racist. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, if they're racist, then it's okay. Savage. Uh, we're all God's people. Quick side question: <laughs> when, when earlier we're talking in the Wow Scale, talking about souls, I had this stuck in my mind. Uh, dying in space. Do you think? Astronauts dying on reentry, their souls are still close enough to the earth mm. to the way they went there. Yes, I do. I think if you're like under the atmosphere enough, you'll you'll trickle down. <laughs> word word. Sorry, I don't mean. What about the dogs that down. died in orbit? Do you think that their souls are trapped in orbit? Yeah, they're just gone. They're just gone. They're just gone. I think mm. the Earth weighs a little less. You know, <laughs> because the enough. total weight, soul weight. That's why yeah. we're off the tilt. They had to update all the, the dogs we send up. Everyone there. who dies in space, they have to update the Wikipedia on how much the world weighs. <laughs> <laughs> Just take a couple kilos off. So, which are the most craziest of these videos? Did you guys watch a bunch of them? There was only two. Oh, the thing is, is is they have all these accounts and they've declassified a lot of videos, but they but they haven't, but they're not. You they haven't find, released them yeah, yet. They, yeah. they showed two videos. Yeah. New ones? Yeah. They're they're one of them's compelling because it's these triangle shapes. But in the commission they said what they thought they were, and I was like, yeah, that's possible. Which uh, was um it was night vision going through a, a SLR camera. Which, with the certain reflection that yeah, it was, yeah. certain setting it was set on, would reflect back triangle shaped light. Mm. That 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 was an old thing where, like, yeah, yeah, I remember, yeah, like a lens flare. But uh, it was uh, blinking. It's not a flare, but it's like the the lens uh, where what? the light lens bokeh. Yeah, yeah, gorgeous. Because like some UFOs, <laughs> the shape of the bokeh was the shape of the UFO. Because it... bokeh de beppo. <laughs> I can't drink boba because it's too chunky. Okay, it's you <laughs> have to time? change the way you suck. Hard soft, hard soft. I like the boca. <laughs> what was the other one they showed? It was like a circle, like an orb, almost like a round orb, it and it was metallic. It was from the cockpit of a of a plane, like a jet plane, huh. fighter jet. But the thing is, and it just went, is <laughs> see what's th- compelling about that is when they, when they had when they were videotaping the metal ball orb going by them 
it's because it was on radar and they knew it was coming up. Yeah, totally. So it's like yeah. they saw wh- they they could see it on radar, mm-hmm. and then they videotaped it, which which would shows you that if you believe in a lot of these UFOs being everywhere, UAPs that they're at, they know about them, they see them. Interesting. On radar. Yeah. Yeah, so like the the instrumentation picked it up, and there's probably evidence of that. Yeah, yeah. Like that's all recorded. They said that they have a lot of narrative evidence, but what they're looking for is quantitative evidence. Hmm. So like actual readings of things. Sure. Which yeah. I'm like, yeah, duh. But maybe stop saying that you're crazy for thinking that for like decades right. and decades. Yeah. I guess everyone should just start wearing like instrumentation on their body so if it yeah. happens you can pick it up on a on like a radar do oh, you, you have mean, a body you radar mean so that the government can track me all the time oh, they can't track your yeah. body radar it's so called weird. gaydar why are you no. going so fast <laughs> well, got your I've email this. Yeah. Yeah. but yeah like i i guess that's like photographic yeah. proof is it as we know can be manipulated and has been for a long time well, it's getting like Star worse Wars now with, like, deep fakes and stuff, too. Well, mm-hmm. when I was reading that book, they actually had, like, pictures from these incidents that, like, civilians took. And one of the things that they noted was that um, even though it looked like it was bright in the sky, a lot of people took pictures. And when the photos were developed, they were just black. You can see other things in the background, like anything that would light up, like a plane here and there. But specifically, that thing wouldn't show up. But if you ran the same negative under, like, infrared you know, processes to see if there's any infrared stuff coming off. Like, all the ones that look like we're nothing have, like, kind of little patterns going around it. So, mm. even though it's bright to your naked eye, it's some kind of weird, like, infrared light that it's hard to pick up in our instrumentation. So, everyone's like, everyone's got phones. You would see them and stuff. You would have videos. A lot of times, if you're out at night and you're getting close to these things, it drains your batteries and all your electronics. It, you can't pick it up with your normal camera. So, I don't know. It brings me back to my famous shrimp analogy. Oh, please. <laughs> if you'll recall. I remember something about shrimp. Let me begin. <laughs> there are some shrimp that exist on this planet. That can see colors that we can't. Oh, right? Mantis shrimp. I can't even imagine a new color because all you know is the colors that you're able to see. It's similar to when they say, like, you can't, you know, imagine a new face. You mm-hmm. can only base it off, like, characteristics of faces you've already seen. Hmm. Um, People say that? Yeah, scientists. That's interesting. Imagine a new face. <laughs> Done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you ugly. Got an ass for a face. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, but the idea is like that. The the way they know that is because of like the biology of the eyes that they have. They know like what part of the eye see picks up color, and they mm-hmm. go, "Oh, they have more like you know receptors receptors that they can see colors we can't." So like that's a thing that exists that we know exists that we as you know Homo sapiens cannot comprehend. We will never do it. We can't just because we don't have the receptors to uh, we're not qualified to see said colors. Yeah. And like like when you're talking about the negatives and like, you know, scanning them with like infrared light and different things like there could be some spectrum of color or, you know, radio or something that's ever present in the galaxy. Mm -hmm. We just can't fucking see it. You know, it could be like we could. Put on like, hey, if someone is like, I put these glasses on and they'll let you see the colors you're not able to see. And you look them in the sky and you're like, oh, dude, there's just like space highways with cars driving everywhere. Like, you know, you like didn't even know they were there because they were a certain color. Well, some some people say on top of what you're saying, some people say that migratory animals can see the electromagnetic field. It's not just a sense in them. And that's why like migration, mass migrations happen and animals walk in certain paths to go die like in a specific area. I don't know if the shrimp do anything with these colors, you know, but like... Maybe. Maybe. Maybe it's how they could could even communicate with each other that way. I don't know. Just, you know, squeeze off a little orange purple and then they see that and go, oh, we gotta get out of here. There's a shark coming. Shark, do they eat shrimp? I would they should. It's so. delicious. They eat anything that has a heartbeat. Oh but, wow! Because um, they can sense uh, 
The heartbeat? Uh, Ooh. Uh, like well, the, ele- I was born, the electro pulse yeah. coming. I was off born with an alar- pulse, enlarged yeah. heart, so I'm like a big old boom box out yeah, there. Dude. I gotta, oh, no. I gotta stay out the water. Don't go swimming. No, nah. <sighs> that's why I don't like the ocean. I can't calm my heart rate down when I'm scared. Where do you stand on the ocean? Oh, I don't go in the ocean. <laughs> I don't either. Are you a waiter, Willie, when it comes to the ocean? We're the same. He's a wade out <laughs> of the water. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, we have like five minutes left. I don't go in the ocean because I don't like water. Sure. Not because I'm afraid a shark is going to sense my heartbeat and come kill me. That I welcome. Yeah. Oh, really? Ugh. You what welcome the challenge. Wade welcomes the challenge. And then if I live, people are like, this guy's famous now. And then I'm like, easy street, baby. Yeah. There's this uh, myth um, that I remember growing up with, which was that like um, adults just have money. Uh-huh. Like when you just get older, it's like, oh, I don't have to worry about money or anything. When I'm older, I'll just have money. Yeah. Did you think that? It hasn't worked out yeah, like that? Yeah, no, you I did, totally right? thought that. Yeah, I, thought I was that like, too. I'll get married, I'll have kids, I'll yeah, have yeah, money. It's like, ah, it's fine. I won't even think about my job. Oh, you're old? You're older? Yeah, you have money. I, I took it a step further knowing that we didn't have much money growing up. Be like, well, I'm going to have more money than my dad. Yeah, yeah, of course. Because you're an adult. You have money. You just get it. You, it's given to you, I guess. I don't know. I don't know where you get it from. That's not true. It's just not true. <laughs> it's not true. What else about... Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry to hear about your financial misfortune. <laughs> hey, it's fine, you know. Um, yeah. you're not, but you you didn't you you didn't have a whole segment on Tom DeLonge? That's interesting. Oh well, yeah. I you know we've talked about him a lot. Okay, you're you, he's he's this is out. this is the new stuff. We were just sure, gonna sure. see. Where we're not we gonna went. play the hits. I, I feel like right. he um, is getting fed a lot of stuff. Yeah. Well, you know, I wanted to bring like up one shrimp. thing about him. I'm sorry. May I? Okay. Uh, one of the we have like, like three left. former CIA people who was um, on the panel of the To the Stars Academy like left because he went into filmmaking and he wanted like he like made a movie that recently came out called like, Monsters of California and um, the guy like stepped back he's like I'm, I didn't get into this for like entertainment I got into this because I wanted to like speak the truth oh wow and uh, yeah so. I don't know. It's kind of a bummer. Like I feel like it had a lot of momentum and it was going to this really good place, and then he's like, "Let's make movies," and everyone's like, "Nah, I gotta go." <laughs> so it's kind of yeah, wants me out. Wacky man. I-, I think with all of this UAP stuff and UFOs going forward into the future, I think the only way that we should handle this is we should get a team of scientists that can be shown the classified stuff and have them come up with an analysis of how we should react to them. I'm sure they're already doing that. Isn't that not what this is? Though. No, who are these, these, who are these just, people? They're not. I'd no. like to volunteer. But are they military or what are they? They're military. Yeah. They're part of the Navy, the Department of Defense of the Navy. Um, I think I think as a country moving forward, we just need to keep reporting this stuff. Like if you do see something. Say something. See something, yes, say something, report it. the national UFO reporting yep. uh, number. We sh- I'll, I'll, I'll post it. Post Thank it. On, send it to the Mutual UFO Network, MUFON. Everyone has a local chapter. Join your MUFON chapter. Help them out. I'm a MUFON member. The national, the national Move reporting center has nothing to do with it. Just, just saying. Like, you can report and not be. But Yeah, you could just, just report it. See something, report it. You never know. But start looking up at night. That's what you should do. So you learn how to identify things. Keep watching the skies. <laughs> even if the sun's out. Yeah, even if. <laughs> um, Bud, do you have any kind of final thoughts on uh, these? You guys, you're all so great. Um, <laughs> final thoughts, Jerry Springer. <laughs> Let's go. Or you could do some plugs. You got any plugs? Uh, follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Bud Anthony, and I'm Bud Anthony Diaz and all other um, socials. Yeah, if you're on Twitch and you subscribe to Bud Stream, you get like fun Bud emojis you can throw around chat rooms. Mm-hmm. And I'll come to your house and hang out with you. Yeah, he'll come to your house when Guaranteed. you're sleeping. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Unannounced. Um, Knock some plates off the wall. I know it was yeah. you. Damn it, <laughs> oh, man. Final thoughts is <laughs> Your Blade. nails match the scream. Whatever. Aaron, Willie, I believe you. All right. Thanks. Well, we don't <laughs> agree, God. but okay. Yes, but I believe you. you.
Well, thanks everybody for watching. Thanks for listening. Patreon.com slash real life sci fi, two bonus episodes a week. And remember, just because you're paranoid doesn't mean they're not after you. We'll see you next time. Woo woo. Ooh, spooky. Like this. Real life sci fi. Oh, that's you? I no, I mean, I wish it was. <laughs> Bye, bye, bye.